Breaking news, breaking news. Patsy Bomber, Mega Bomber, Caesar Sayoc breaks down in courtroom and says, I did it. I did it. It's over. It's over. Damn, Patsy Bomber. Patsy Bomber, Caesar Sayoc. You remember who he is? Let's take a stroll down memory lane. First, we'll read the uh, headline. Mega Bomber, Caesar Sayoc, breaks down as he pleads guilty, faces life in prison. So, it was this, it's the Southern District of New York. If you remember the story, Caesar Sayak is the uh, bomber who allegedly sent uh, fake bombs to 15 prominent Democrats. He sent one to the CNN. He was living in his van covered with mega uh, Make America Great Again stickers. Uh, so let's read. The Florida man who mailed homemade bombs to leading Democrats and other critics of President Trump broke down in court on Thursday while pleading guilty to charges that may send him to prison for life. MAGA bomber Caesar Sayoc, 57, claimed he never intended for the devices, which he packed with explosive powder from fireworks, fertilizer, pool chemicals, and broken glass to actually blow up and hurt anyone. He never intended them to blow up. None of the crude pipe bombs detonated, but Sayoc admitted in Manhattan federal court that, quote, I was aware of the risk, unquote, they would. Hmm. In, in October 2018, this is, say, this is, quote, in, 2000, in October 2018, I made devices that were designed to look like bombs and sent them in the U.S. mail, uh, he said softly, while reading from a prepared statement. I sent 16 devices to people around the country. Sayoc uh, Sayoc also listed his targets as financer financer George Soros, Hillary Clinton, former CIA director John Brennan, actor Robert De Niro, former director of national intelligence James Clapper, ex-president Barack Obama, Rep. uh, Maxine Waters, former Attorney General Eric uh, Holder, Senator Cory Booker, Senator Kamala Harris, hedge fund billionaire Tom Sayer, Steyer, right, and CNN, okay? Uh, so uh, I also put pictures of recipients with a red X over their faces into the package. The muscle-bound former stripper added. We'll take a, mo- a stroll down memory lane. If you don't know who he is and if you don't remember I'll, I'll take a, we'll take a stroll down memory lane and you'll remember all of it. And we'll try to decide. Is this real? Is, he, is this a, a plea? Well, let's find out. It's a plea, definitely. It's a plea of guilty. But is it, did he actually do it? Like I said, I said it three months ago that we'll never see a trial. Right? Conti's right again. Right? I'm going to play the clip where I said it three months ago. <laughs> so uh, I am, quote, um, Near the end of the statement, Sayoc's voice choked up with emotion as his body shook and he scrunched up in his hand, in his face, apparently holding back tears. Cesar Sayoc is an actor, remember? He's a, he's, a, <laughs> he's a SAG actor. He's in the union. I am extremely sorry, he said in a voice barely above a whisper. I want to kick myself because I wasn't there. Right, this is in the Southern District. This is I didn't know I missed it. Sorry, man, I fucking missed it. New York Post reporting. We got to believe him at least, you know. He then pleaded guilty to sixty-five counts of use of a weapon of mass destruction, interstate transportation of an explosive device, conveying of a threat through interstate commerce, uh, illegal mailing of an explosive device, and carrying an explosive during the commission of a felony. Sayoc's plea. Uh, agreement says both the prosecution and defense agree that sentencing guidelines call for life in prison, prison, plus 120 years and a fine of $500,000. Both the deal lets the uh, lets the uh, lets the side argue for more or less time in the slammer, as Sayoc scheduled September 12 sentencing. So that's a big point. So he'll be sentenced September 12. So he's going to sit in the can. And think about his time, right? Sayak was busted on October 26th outside AutoZone store in uh, Plantation, Florida, following the FBI's discovery of his fingerprints on the package he sent to Waters. The arrest came after four days after the first of his bombs were discovered at Soros' at Soros's West 
Uh, Westchester County State and law enforcement sources have told the Post that Sayoc had a target list with hundreds of more names on it. Again, we'll never see it. We'll never see it. Why? Because he's pleading guilty. Who said it? Uh, Trump said it. He said 99% of the time, these federal prosecutors, will, they'll get a plea out of you. Right? So it's, it's playing true. The arrest came just four days after the first of his bombs were discovered at Soros' Westchester. I just read that. At the time, Sayok was living in a white van with its windows uh, covered with pro-Trump images and messages and other attack, and others attacked the president's critique. All right, all right so, so there it is. So remember, let's take a stroll. Down. Phone and lobby and sit out me now, Yes, and... Uh... So the point is... He pleads guilty. He puts on a performance in in the in the court, right? And that's all we'll ever know. We'll never see the bomb. We'll never see the the equipment, the bomb equipment. We'll never see the mailings. We'll never know because why? Because he pleaded guilty, right? But here he is. We we may do a few acts for you, like splash, splash, taking a bath, lighting up on the backstroke. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make every day so much fun. <laughs> Live from City of Beach, Florida, where every day is paradise. And every day for you guys is mountain men. $5 buys you 12 tickets, a food processor, a luggage you got. You remember? Here he is in and I, uh, part of his, these are all my videos, by the way. You can watch them. The, you're seeing the, uh, the, the, the titles. This is when he was, uh, when approached by the two police. People thought that this too was maybe staged. Who knows? Well, LA Fitness I was going to go here and then I have to go back to work. So you were working out at LA Fitness? Can't hear you. No, I'm, I'm working out at okay. LA Fitness and then I'm going, uh, back up to work in about, uh, I'm telling you, it'll be there by 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yes, sir. Okay. So we just resting over here? So this is before his arrest, before, before the actual uh, event happened, the alleged crime happened, before the mailings. This was a video that was released uh, earlier that uh, the police just happened to be strolling by and seeing him in his van. So you sitting here for a while and kind of... Yeah. yeah. No, I was, <laughs> so I was so tired. I worked this morning because uh, I'm from the Seminole Hard Rock. Oh, and gotcha. Daytime, and then I worked ultra at night, and then I work uh, DJ today at 2 o'clock. Okay. Uh, I go up there, and then I go to so work all is. the way to say There he is. Say yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so the police. Uh, I'll give you his DL number. Yeah. It's for the DL of uh, Sierra. All right, so you remember that scene? You remember that whole thing? Now, who said, who said, well, let's hear what this, this jack-off reporter was saying back in uh, November 8, 2018. That's the jail right there where Sayak is staying. Listen, listen to this guy. All right. Now, is he completely guilty? Do we really care? No. Who put him up to it is really the, the mystery. And we may never solve that mystery. But there's two types of evidence. There is direct evidence where there's the smoking gun here's the gun and there's the body right or there's there's a credible admission of guilt right or there's a video of a guy shooting somebody else right so credible what did he say <laughs> what'd you say Conti? credible admission of guilt Cre that's that's what's known as direct evidence and in this case, we don't have direct evidence. See, what we have is a, a preponderance of circumstantial evidence. Right? Now, so this is at the time, right? If you recall the time in November, he pleaded not guilty. You remember? He pleaded not guilty. So we were waiting for a trial, which was scheduled for July. But now they just all of a sudden, you know, a month, two months before, three months before the summer... He takes a plea, and now it's just sentencing. You see how it, how the whole game changed? But I, I had said it. Listen to what I, I, I had said, my working theory at the time. That suggests he's innocent, right? That's really what it is. And it piles up. So don't think that, oh, you could never prove it. Well, 
you, you actually can. Because the courts are so fucked up right now, they're changing the rules, right? Circumstantial evidence. Oh, no, no, we can't. We're not going to listen to that. But the, the, comp the compounding of circumstantial evidence is evidence. So, for example, that they have not produced any bomb-making equipment, right? They haven't produced you know receipts where he bought the stuff how he made it how he manufactured it postal stamps money orders how did he how did he engineer the thing there's no no evidence in the record that suggests that any of that happened in a coherent way right and we'll never find i suspect that we'll never find it out because he's now in the southern district in the frying pan where he will accept his plea they will accept his plea Guilty, ah. and he'll and he'll 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 fade away into the woodwork, because the real part, the real mission is over, right? The the mission is to steer an election, to interfere. The very thing that the Democrats cried wolf, cried that Trump did with the Russians, they're guilty of doing here. Ah, that guy's a genius, man. You heard? He said that we'll never see it. Right. What did he say here? Do he read says, the comments. I, I can't, there's a lot of them, but I read, I, I skim the comments. Wow, he's so young. Look how young and beautiful he is. And if you throw something in there, Val, oh, I'll follow So up. this is, uh, th you're going to see this guy re-enter the picture, Ronald Low Lowey. You remember? He's the family lawyer that sucked up to Sayoc, and um, he, he sucked up to Sayoc's mother. And came out and said that Caesar Sayak is crazy. You're going to see a re-entrance of this guy now because now it's about a plea, and they're going to try to plea and claim he's insane and all that stuff. So watch enter Robert Lowy. Just remember this, Ronald Lowy. Excuse me. Oh, right. And if it's very important, or if it's if it's brain Caesar is that he's very skim the con. I'm the attorney for the family of Caesar Sayak. Uh, I've previously represented Caesar Sayoc on four cases. Um, my experience with Caesar is that he's very immature emotionally, uh, intellectually. Um, um, I, I found him to be a 14-year-old in an adult body. Uh, he got arrested. So there he is saying that Caesar Sayoc is a 14-year-old in an adult body. Uh, here I am outside of the court. You remember the court? I actually saw him. He's a real person. He's really in there. Uh, today I was not in the court, but I was back uh, in in November. It just I'm just building the case. Just bear with me. Woo! Marcus Conti reporting from the Southern District, New York Court. I was in the courtroom. Okay. I saw Sayak. Right. I saw him. He answered to the name Caesar. Altieri Sayak, right? Caesar Altieri Sayak. That's how the judge read the charges, right? So, so just evidence, proof of life that he was in there. This is what it looked like, if you recall this image. Uh, you know, that's how I saw him. I, saw, I was sitting right there. I was sitting right behind him, and uh, that's the judge and such. That's his. Uh, these are the prosecutors, and over here is the. Uh, that's his attorney, his court-appointed court attorney. What else? Oh, I sent him a letter. Remember when I sent him the letter? I got my camera on top of the mailbox because they're going to mail a letter. Guess who I'm writing to? Ah. Metropolitan. So I sent Caesar Sayak a letter, remember? And uh, I never got an answer. That's where he is. Um... That's that's his that's he's still there. I mean, you could you could pull up Metropolitan Jail, and uh, you know the, this facility right here, Correctional Center, and plug in these numbers, and you can find out that he is in fact in the, in the, he's on he's <laughs> is he in there? Who the hell knows if he's in there? But the fact is that the his his uh, case number or or inmate number says he's in there, but I never saw him. I never saw him sitting in jail. Alton Correctional Center, Caesar Altare Sayak, 150 Park Row, New York, New York, 100. So I sent them this. It's signed. So I sent them this letter right here. My name is Mark Conti. I'm a Mark Conti. I'm a citizen video journalist. I asked to, I asked him to come see him, 
And um, so he, he never answered. But uh, maybe he will now. Who knows? What's this one about? Oh, and at Pittsburgh Synagogue. Our speculation was if it's a false flag, I had a false. So this is the effect, right? What, what was the whole point of the mission, right? Here's the effect where Trump says it in his own words. Flag is designed, especially with the bomber, right? It's designed to steer the momentum away, steer the momentum into a ditch. Now, we did have two maniacs stop a momentum that was incredible because for seven days, nobody talked about the elections. It stopped a tremendous momentum. More importantly, we have to take care of our people and we don't care about momentum when it comes to a disgrace like just happened to our country. But it did nevertheless stop a certain momentum and now the momentum is picking up. Trump is on multi-state camp. So there you go, man. That guy was right the whole time, man. Fucking this Conti guy, man. This dude, right? So, <clears throat> so wow. So Caesar Alteri Sayak, the <clears throat> Patsy Bomber, will never see... We'll never see the evidence. We'll never, he'll, he'll never, is he, I mean, yeah, now you could start the speculation. Let the, <laughs> let the theories, you know, begin. My, my theory in the beginning was that he will never see, a, you know, the, uh, the, a jury, a trial jury. He'll take his plea. He'll willfully take his plea. And, uh, and that'll be the end of it. And that we'll never see the evidence. We'll never see the bomb making equipment. We'll never hear any, you know, any real testimony or any cross-examination from his attorney. We'll never get to see, you know, we'll never know if he actually did it, you know, just because he said he did it, he did it, right? And that's the end of it. And everybody's happy with that, right? How could, how could, you know, it's funny. How could you say, how could a guy who is, who is portrayed as being crazy then say, oh, I, I did this. And then, and that's the end of it. Right, right. Without so you take the word of a crazy man, right? So anyway, that's the uh, that's how the cookie crumbles, man. So I don't know, man. What's your what's your opinion? You know, is it he is he a patsy? Is it was it mission accomplished? Is he a patsy? Did he do it? Was there something else to it where he did something else and then he was said, okay, you can you can do this now? I don't know. I mean, are we going to get deleted now for for speculating for discussing? The 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 man, the myth, the legend who is Caesar Altari Sayak, the mega bomber, the Patsy bomber. I don't know, man. Marcus Conti reporting.